Hi everyone, it's James and today I'm going to show you how to install a new CPU into your computer. First you have to know what type of CPU your motherboard accepts. So there's a good software that you can download for free and I'm going to show it to you. First thing you're going to do is go into your browser and you're going to look up CPU-Z. All right, now this is a free software and it scans, um, let's look at it. CPU-Z is a freeware that gathers information of, CPU-Z is a freeware that gathers information on some of the main devices on your system. It says processor name and number, code name, process, package, cache levels, main board and chipset, memory type, size, timing, and modules okay anyway so our main concern is the main board and chipset so you're gonna go down so I'm going to select setup English 32 and 64 bit version by the way I'm running Windows 10 64 bit yep I'm gonna run it run yes I agree you can choose the directory where you want to keep the files I'm, I'm just gonna leave it as is in the C drive program files set up Wilbur, okay next yes desktop and away it goes and it's done that was pretty fast okay now I'm going to close this window out there it is okay let's look at the specs uh, the first tab it has my CPU information, the caches, the main board, the motherboard, this is my motherboard, and the chipset. Uh, here's memory information. I'm running 16 gigabytes. SPD, graphics card information. So if you ever want to update your graphics card, you can just look over here. Bench and about. I know what kind of CPU I have. I have a I have an Intel i3. If you're not sure, use the software to find your CPU. So it says over here Intel Core i3. That's my processor. And it tells me the socket 1155 LGA. I already know my motherboard. I know it's an Asus Tech and I know the model number. I already googled it. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's a P8B75-M and here's all the information about it. There it is, right up here. It says CPU. I'm gonna zoom this up. This is from my motherboard. It says CPU chipset requirements. Intel Core i3, i5, i7 with B75 Express chipset. My motherboard accepts Intel Core i5. So it's time to install it. You're looking at my computer case. I am going to open it up and install a new CPU this morning. I built this computer myself. I've been installing new components every now and then. So now I'm going to take off the cover. this side. This just slides right off. Alright, let's get started. This is here the CPU that I got. 
it's an Intel i5. Currently I have an Intel i3. This is the CPU fan. I'm going to unplug that cable first. And uh, the CPU is under this fan. This Intel fan has four prongs. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to push down and go counterclockwise. That should release it. It's already getting loose. Yeah, it's coming out nicely. There we go. Thermal paste, and there's the CPU. Put it over here. There's a little lever right over here that you have to press down that will unlock this casing, like so. Like that. Now to remove it. It's hard to see i3, but this is an i3. Here is the new i5. Here is the arrow. Now to install my new Intel i5, do you see this little arrow on the CPU? That is going to go right there. Sometimes you'll see something indicated, but in my case, it's very small. There's a little tiny white dot right on the board. Never force it in. It should go in nice and smoothly. Okay, there it goes. Perfect, nice and smoothly. Don't force it in. Now let's close it. Oops, you know what I forgot? I'm gonna add some thermal paste. Since I have thermal compound, I'll do it now. Oops, oh, it's kind of gray this time. Spread it across this. I'll just use this same packaging to rub it. Oh, it looks pretty messy. There, just like that. Now to close it. Don't be afraid to add some force over here. You're gonna need it because it has to be nice and snug. It's under it. That's it. Now to reconnect the heat sink fan and then plug in everything and I'll show you the end result. Okay, here are the prongs. They're gonna go into these four little holes on the motherboard. And they should make a clicking sound. So we're gonna push them in. There, nice and snug, perfect. Make sure that this heat sink fan is securely in the motherboard. You don't want it shifting. Then it, you need to reconnect this CPU fan. This has four little holes and there are four prongs.
There we go. Ta-da! That was pretty easy. And that's how to install a new CPU. Before I hook everything back up, I opened the other side panel and I wanted to show you where the prongs went in. This is the motherboard. Make sure that the prongs go through the motherboard. That's it. Let's hook everything back up. The moment of truth has come. It is time to turn on the computer. I expect everything to go well. Come on, come on. It just says, CPU installed, please enter setup to configure your system. I'm in my BIOS. In plain sight, CPU type Intel R Core TMI5 2400, CPU at 3.10 gigahertz. Speed, 31. 100 megahertz. Go to my advanced mode. Enter advanced mode. Okay, I'm going to just log on. Okay, going to check. Okay, there's my screen, everything looks good. We're gonna check to see the system information. I can go into this CPU ID or I can go to this window, click on this settings. System display notification power. Go to about and indeed it says processor Intel R Core TM i5 2400 CPU at 3.10 gigahertz, 3.1 gigahertz. Perfect. It worked. If I wanted to check my computer information again, I'd click on that free software. What do you see on the right hand corner? Intel inside Core i5. All right, it's legit. And it even says right over here processor name Intel Core i5 2400, Sandy Bridge, socket 1155 LGA. Perfect. It worked, and that's how to install a CPU into your computer. If you like this video, like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye.